Bro, the soundtrack is so good. Is this, hey guys, is the sound okay? Would you say the sound's decent? Resume expedition. <laughs> Bro, I forgot how to play. Fuck, I forgot how to play. <laughs> Wake up. Okay, there's that thing again. Every time. Yo, double gifting a sub to Groot. Groot, welcome on in. Enjoy the, the not the not ads and also some cool emotes, hopefully. Alright. Mural panel. <laughs> You'll be with gifting us up to Ama, uh, Amaditz. Bro. Okay. I want to... It's muscle, man. Give it a minute. Yeah, we're good. We're good. We're back. Such, it's, hope, hope you've been good, dude. It's good to see you, man. Okay. Oh yeah, we're, we're we're back. Giants deep. Engage. Valentine's Day was good. We watched a bunch of movies and chilled. Absolutely, babe. Yeah, please. What do you want to say to chat? Chances, happy Valentine's Day, guys. Love you. Rip your alt account not being able to chat. You'll be fine, man. We gotta take measures, you know. Oh, this is this place. New work schedule. Excited to be back. Let's go, baby. Yo, Philly, let's go. Oh. Okay. Here we go. Put on our outfit. Open the hatch and get out of here. Dude, Mikey, it's very fun. Why am I flying? Oh, is it, am I underwater, man? What's fucking happening? Holy. All right. Yeah, I'm, I'm enjoying this game a lot, yes. place how do I fucking drop bro guys it's good to be back it is absolutely good to be back. Let's get some okays in chat, thanks. What the fuck was that? Okay, that, my one gripe, I'm, I'm allowed to have a gripe. My one gripe with this game is when you're, when you're like in a situation where water is on you, you really can't tell. It's kind of shitty looking. That's my one gripe. If, if, if it's okay to have one gripe, that's it. Kind of like, what the fuck was that? A little shitty, personally. Let's, we'll, we'll try to look past it, though. We'll try to look past it. That's my, that's my only gripe, though. It's a little silly, I think. Just one. Can I, can I go into the sun? Put your suit on. I did have my suit on. Oh, you mean like right now? No, I put it on later.
God forbid a guy has a gripe anymore. Yo, is this sun kind of small? Oh, small Loki? Is this sun Loki pathetic? Stop hitting on the sun. Sorry. Do you think it's average? You're right. Yo, burnt crotch. Thanks for the uh, for the sub. get to this freaking thing. And let's go to the dark bramble, I guess. The old dark bram. Yo, Gardens of the Galaxy. Thanks for the resub. Yo, Gardens of the Galaxy. You should try getting that name in Infinite Craft. You probably could. New mission just dropped. I'm gonna try right now, all right? Because all you gotta do is get Guardians of the Galaxy, right? And then you go uh, Garden, Garden of Eden, Garden of Eden plus Guardians of the Galaxy, Garden of, of the Galaxy. Yo, what up, Sailboat? How you doing, dude? Yeah, oh, dude, trust me. Okay, money. Next time I'm out there, I want to I want to uh, have a blast with the IRL stuff. Best place to send you a DM. Uh Discord sailboat, I think. Join my Discord uh server and then you can send me a, a DM there. Dre, we got like 9 inches, bro. Boys Night IRL. Ooh. Yo, what is up, Vibe? Hello, hello. Yo, Crispy, thanks for the raid, dude. Congrats on Brew Crew, by the way. What up, guys? Okay. <sighs> I want to go in here. Huh? 
<laughs> and keep going to these red red zones, but Yo artist, thank you very much. What's up, Crispy G? Crispy, thanks for the raid, dude. I'm excited for tomorrow, man. We gotta figure out uh, a list of words somehow that we don't know about. Yeah, I have. A, I feel like Dark Bram Dark Bramble kind of has like a Lost Woods vibe to it. If that makes sense. Look, look at all the pieces of shit. Not even the fog. Just like how I have to go to the. Uh, I have to keep following the red, and it's like you, it just keeps going inward. It's like a, it's like a dream within a dream. It's like it's like Inception. Like I keep following the red. Uh, life but it's like is this this is this the same setup or or no you know what i mean also i don't know how to fucking it's interesting yeah and then i just get fucking killed yeah i think i think we'll probably figure it out eventually um what's the gist of this game dude i don't know we're still we're still figuring it out as we go. You're here for the slop em up tag? Let's go, vibe. Thanks for the tier three, by the way. <gasps> K uh K money. Probably actually. That doesn't seem that doesn't seem too bad. Yeah, Paji, it's uh you you're like these these aliens with four eyes and you have to um we're, we're kind of like figuring out as we go pretty much. <laughs> yeah, what everyone in chat's doing. I still also want to figure out the the moon. The invisible moon, like the fake moon. I wonder, if, I wonder if headlights off does anything. That's the altar rock. Oh, I wonder if the I wonder if the the headlights off helps maybe on, on like multiple things. The quum. Shit. Little hot, little hot. We're good. Okay. Cool. Still not picking up Ryback's banjo from Brittle Hollow. I'm sure they're fine, but I'll feel better once I can hear their music. Listen to Chirp play for a while today. Unrelated. Someone should tell Porphy and Ghost and their flirting is not subtle from an aerial perspective. Banjo music coming in loud and clear today. Sounds like Ryback's doing okay. That oh, if I was worried, I think I think some of the words are getting cut off. Hold on one sec, guys. I'm gonna go up a, a titch here. Okay. There we are. No, it's back again today. Something strange is coming from Timber Hearth. Okay, I know this is crazy, but the sound from Timber Hearth sounds exactly like Feldspar's harmonica. But Feldspar disappeared in space ages ago. It can't be them. It's still here. This is creepy. Maybe my signal scope is broken. I better talk to Nice. Okay, so we got some more stuff. Okay, we need... Yeah, I need to find what's going on there. Cool. I think we should probably go to Timber Hearth at some point.
Hannah, this is my second playthrough. So the first playthrough is on my YouTube if you want to start it with me. And then um, part two will be up when this playthrough is over, pretty much. What is this area? Huh? This is kind of interesting. <laughs> yeah, first playthrough, second sesh. Bro, what is this? Huh? What the fuck? Huh? Shit. Oh man, it's like... Hmm. Ooh, there's something there. I need, I need to get to that. Come on, you fucking idiot. Go, oh, get up there. Oh. Here we go. <laughs> this is an old crater. The neat thing is that the composition of the samples I took from the impact site matches the composition of the ice on the outskirts of Dark Bramble. I posted the out... Uh, the Adel Rock was hit with a piece of planet that used to be where Dark Bramble now lies. Maybe there are more fragments of the old planet Dark Bramble destroyed to the other on uh, other astro bodies in the solar system. <laughs> okay, that's interesting. I don't know what it means exactly, but that's interesting that like Dark Bramble pieces are hitting other areas. Hmm. Lore. <laughs> Whoops. I'm dead. Not because I'm dead. Whoop. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. Huh. It's getting dark over here too, which is kind of not really good. I feel like I'm, like, controlling this pretty well. New ship log. We got some new things. Lunar outlook. Harmonica signal. Okay. Let's go. To, let's heal up. Med kit. Okay. Let's get the fuck out of here, too. Landing mode. Okay. We're popping up here. Oh, what is that smoke? On this. On the other side. Whose house is this? Go back. Fuck. Great. Mine. It's a bunch of side. How you doing? Yeah, I need to land in that little smoke show house right there. Landing mode. Oh, yeah. Oh, who's this? Bro, there's a guy here. Come on, lore. Esker. <clears throat> oh, hey, it's you. Ground control didn't tell me you were launching. Long time no see. Actually, I guess it's a long time since I've seen anyone. Don't the other oh, don't other travelers come by? The lunar outposts saw more traffic back when our ships were less sophisticated and, and needed more frequent repairs. Nowadays, it's mostly used to keep a set of eyes on things. 
Sometimes Chert comes by to say hi, but Gabro is Gabro, and you know how Ryback feels about unnecessary space flight. Don't go. Uh, I mean, anything else you wanted to ask? Seems lonely up here. A little. I'm in touch with ground control, Hornfells, and Ghostin mostly, and they radio up to chat now and then. And when ground control f figure out some up here, and they usually do, I launch my little scout as the vi at the village. They forgot about you? I don't blame them. For one, I don't check in as often as the other travelers since I'm always in one place. And it's not so bad up here, really. At least it's peaceful and quiet. You don't always get that in our solar system, let alone in our village. Don't go. Uh, I mean, <laughs> was that you whistling? Probably. Or actually, definitely. The other travelers carry instruments, so they don't bother whistling. You can pick up their music with a signal scope, you know. Best spot for that is the North Pole. Great reception. The North Pole is marked in red on your mini-map, but the Adel Rock is a pretty small moon, really. Just go north. You can't miss it. Don't go. What is this place? Haha, <laughs> very funny. Oh, stars above. You're serious, aren't you? That's just depressing. Welcome to the Lunar Outpost, which apparently the space program doesn't bother to teach anyone anymore. When we first started Outer Wilds, travelers used to bring their ships here all the time for repairs. Our spacefaring technology has improved loads since then, but the older ships tended to uh, fall apart a lot. Like, more than they do now. Using the outposts cut down on the number of launches and landings taking place in the village. And also, the number of fires. Nowadays, though, it's mostly just me up here raising saplings from timber hearth and keeping an eye on things. Talk to you later. Okay. Refuel jetpack. Unidentified signal nearby. Quantum. There's that creepy thing. The Grove Shard. Whoa. Okay. What's this? Just random shit. BRB making a cake? Yo, what kind of cake? Also, hell yeah. Nope, can't go in there. Okay. Cool, so we got a little, a little bit of information there. Return suit. You ship log. Esker's camp. Okay. Why am I trying to break into his house, dude? Because I have no clue what I'm supposed to be doing. You know what I mean? I'll, I'll do anything at this point. Okay. That's giant steep. Do any of us? True. Ash Twin, Timber, Timber Hearth. Timber Hearth is my home, right? Dark Bramble. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go right there. Okay, I think I think there might be something here. Landing mode, go. Ah. Doink. Hey, we had fun. Okay. Do, do, do. Where's that weird thing at? Right here. Wait, so how, how did we get this last time to, uh, to show up? I forget what we did last time. There, there was something we did, right? To make this thing pop up. The fuck? Magic, yeah. got to be a way to make it pop up. Maybe I'm just a weird, weird dude. 
I also wonder, so if you're uh if your playthrough it, like goes for a while, you always end up like dying at a specific point. I wonder if th there's something there too with like you have to be at a certain place at a certain time kind of vibes. You know. there. Ghost matter detected. Great. Okay. I want to get up there. Nice. Yeah, what up, Bobby Berm in, on Spotify? Oh, I can go this way also. Okay, I've been here. Okay, cool, cool, cool. We are so back. Bobbert Burnham, the third. Okay, this seems like a new spot. Ghost matter, oh! Okay, so this that that's interesting. How's it feel? Uh, it feels good, it feels real good. It feels real good. What is that space, spot, I, I wonder? You want a Brevik? There's another place where I want to go to. I want to check out the um the tower as well. Back in, I think wherever the fuck it's called. Like I still have to like go in there. No, not on this planet. The um the one with like all the weird shit. You know what I'm talking about? The, the, the black hole is around there. It's like all the weird shit. That's all of them. Kind of, yeah, you're right. Oh, wait. That smoke means that there's probably a dude here chilling, right? This seems like something. Seems like something. Ow. What is all this? Hey, oh, hatchling. Thought you were taking that tin can of yours into space today. What are you still doing here? Me, I saw something crash over the horizon. Didn't like what I was seeing in my pictures. My little scout was sending back, so I thought I'd come over here by myself. Is that a dark bramble seed? You think so? It's nothing I've seen on timber art before, so you're probably onto something there. Whatever it is, it put down roots in a hurry. I don't like the look of this thing, Hatchling, and that's a fact. I think I'll set Marl and Hal loose on it. Best get rid of this mess sooner than later, and no one can remove an unwanted plant faster than a tree keeper can. I'll have to get a look at what's inside the seed first, though. Don't want to uh, set anybody uh, to hacking up a potentially dangerous plant without a better idea of what's lurking inside. Tough can help me haul the old scout launcher over here. Obviously, the opening is too small for someone to fit inside. Anyways, I'm not going to blindly stick my hands into something that looks as unpleasant as that seed does. 
It's a good way to lose an arm or two. Okay, Gale. Bro, whoa. Okay, so we're, we're getting somewhere. Oop. Okay, let's let's do that again. Retrieve it. Hold on. Let's get come back. Okay, we're going in. We're going we're going in for a while. And then it stops. Oh, there we go. There's a fucking freak. Huh? What? Why is that guy in there? Let's, 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 let's go back. Let's, let's try one more time. Okay, so look, you go in there. And it's, it's like a TARDIS situation. It just goes on and on. And then once you get back in, then there's like, there's that freak. And then we're back. We're on the planet, kind of. That is something else, huh? Wait, there's a backside. Hold on. Now, what's this about? It's the same thing. Same, same thing both ways. Oh, and there's another one over here. It's like, hey, man. Okay, so every angle is the same. What is that about? Okay. I threw a little scout into the into the seed. You did, did you? And you're telling me it's bigger on the inside than on the outside. Yes. It's me a chore to chop up and no mistake. Can we even remove a seed that doesn't have the decency to stay the same size all the way through? Maybe I'd better grab an extra axe or three just in case. Back in my yarn days, I explored somewhere there. Yada, 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 yada. Nah, I reckon this thing's from Dark Bramble. Yep. Okay. So, any holes of coal, I guess. Sheesh. So, that's good. Wait a minute. Harmonica dude stuck in here. Harmonica boy. Interesting. My signal scope is picking up a harmonica in the seed. Inside the seed, huh? Don't know what to tell you there. The only harmonica player I know is Feldspar, and they disappeared ages ago. Don't go telling Ness about the harmonica music, okay? They'll never get. Let me get rid of the darn seed. Hmm. Okay. Okay. That's interesting. So now we know a few things. We know there's a harmonica. We took some picks. My ship is broken. Yeah, we're, we're lore guys over here. What's up, Shambo? How you doing? Okay. Dark Bramble Seed inside the seed. Let's check this out now. When I launch my scout into the seed, they crash into my hearth and ends up in a much bigger space with fog and thorny vines. Yup. What's up, Alf? A seed from Dark Bramble crashed here. The single scout picked up harmonica music. I aimed at the seed. I launched my little scout into the seed. It's bigger on the inside somehow. Aubrey, you, actually, we just got the coolest thing. The inside of the seed has a... Uh, 
harmonica in it, which is interesting. Okay. Now, I kind of I kind of want to go tell Nice that we heard a harmonica. That's chill. It does have TARDIS vibes, which is wild. Am I weird, or is this planet changing slowly as time goes on? I feel like it feels like the planet. What the fuck was that? Why? Why am I seeing that as green over there? Hold on. Hold. Hold. Whoa. 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 The fuck was that? Huh? There's something green over here, bro. That's the Grove Shard. This is where I died before. Hmm. Oh, wait. Okay. So the bramble seed is right below this. This seems very interesting. I'm not sure what that means personally, but that's very interesting regardless. What's up, Ellie? Thanks for the resub. What up, Aries? How you doing? Aries Zella? Yo, Elf, congratulations. So the harmonica means that there's someone stuck in there. Or we're, we're led to believe that, maybe. Back here again to this shithole. There's definitely something to muck here. Okay. The quiet. Sh so like. Hmm. There's got to be, like, some way to, to make everything, like, move correctly or something. Here. I don't, I don't think we have all the info that we need yet, but there's definitely, like, some sort of, like, getting everything, like, to be on top of each other might be cool. Or something. I don't know. Hmm. Cross old bark, it's always dark in the ancient glade, the quiet shade. Such an interesting dynamic. I mean, Chinese food, yup. I had that recently. Well, that's nice lighting right there. Go quick if you like 
keep momentum going too, which is cool. So that's someone's... That's someone's scout, it looks like. Yo, what up, Jasmine? How you doing? Oops. Okay. Nice music. Yeah, Bobby. I had I had a gripe earlier. Like I only had one gripe. Um but I feel like sometimes with Oh shit. Sometimes with uh, Okay, so I have two gripes with the game. Um, one, that, just whatever the fuck that was. And two, when you're on a planet with water and when it's like, when you're like in it, it doesn't really like feel like you're in water sometimes. It's like very glitchy. And that's about it. <gasps> Bro, is it nighttime now? Like, is it always nighttime when I wake up? Or is it sometimes morning? Like, I feel like that's interesting. That's suspicious. Okay. Let's go over here. Yo, Nick with the ray. What up, guys? Nick, thank you for the raid. Welcome on in, guys. Hello, hello. Good to see you. Welcome, welcome. Felsworth was one of the four founding members of the Outer Wilds. Oh, so Felsworth was one of the, the founding members. I can tell you Felsworth was absolutely fearless, though. Nothing scared them. Test piloted everything Slate ever built. It's a wonder Felsbard lived to see space, frankly, but they did. Flew all sorts of dangerous stunts and explored everything they could find. Nick, thanks again for the raid. Hope you had a good stream. We don't know what happened or where Felsbard is or what, even whether they're still alive. It's been a long time since they left. No thanks. I'm good. There's Hal. Just want to tell Gabbro or maybe Ryback? Of, oh, stairs. This is so exciting. It's making my stomach hurt. Where is Ganice at? Ganice. He's somewhere. Well, that's the map. Okay. Observatory. What's this? Well, that's Gosen. I'm a natural at this. No, I'm not gonna go do that. Ghost matter detected. Oh, so you can see it. That's that green shit. Arcos. Moraine. Any sounds from space today? Okay. That's a nice little git right there. flushed out real quick that's okay with you guys yeah nick i still got pizza party by the way that's hype whoa huh great oh, here we go
This is all one giant circle, bro? Nah, come on. Oh, here we go. After closer observation, mining site 2A. Saw a few others. I think I was here before. Maybe I'm not. Candy part's cute. Yeah, it's cool. Oh, that's, that goes that way. Okay. Go over here, maybe? Yo, Bobby, you like my audio message I sent you today or what? Okay. What is this place? the harmonica nice bro nah do I have to launch myself into the, the moon from there? There's no way. Yo, what up, Kiana? How are you? There's no shot. There's no shot. Boom. <laughs> cool. Guys, that's the quantum moon in case you were curious. Nice, you hear, man? Quantum Grove Center. That's your mountains. She's so elusive. She really is. Museum shard. Okay. this well that's this thing that's it a walk on the wall is it a bramble seed right here oh these are those fucking fish it appears well suited to living in dark places with minimal atmosphere hmm okay let's see if nice is here you're nice you home map you are here okay giant steep brittle hollow interloper I forget where he is Spinal, spinal. Okay. God, we couldn't go any further. Yeah, giant seed has a current you can't pass through. Sure, but what, shut up a minute. This is the good part. It held Gabbro back, almost as if it was trying to protect him from something. Then the terrible darkness Gabbro saw, the tentacle of some hideous beast. Is that all true? Okay, I gotta go to giant Steve and talk to Gib Gibbro.
Oh, they're all named after rocks? That's cool. Tefra. It isn't my favorite troublemaker. We want to play hide and see, but Rain will let us borrow their signal scope because it's really delicate. Sorry, can't today. Four feet. Yo, Zen Gen, thanks for the prime. Welcome on in. Rutile. Okay. Pilot seat, yup. Cool. Marl. Hal's gonna miss you. Slate. You're lucky I'm in a time because I'd be super dead. And you're lucky I don't know. I don't have you grounded for medical reasons because I have no idea what you're talking about. The autopilot flew my ship directly into the sun. It's not exactly impossible for the autopilot to get you too close to one, but it's not likely it'll take you there on purpose. Make sure the sun isn't between you and your destination when you engage autopilot. It'll be fine. Haha. <laughs> Thanks. Oh, I almost got fucking squished again. We call that Hearthstone in the showbiz. Ooh, okay. Hearthstone mentioned. What up, Julep? Quantum Moon, Ash Twin. Zoom. You know what, I'm gonna go to that one fucking place real quick. Jewel, thanks for the 13 months, dude. Good to see you. Good to have you. Yup. Okay, where's it at? Not the sun. Is it? I think it's here. What is that? Ash Twin. Nah, I think it's below Ash Twin. Brittle Hollow, maybe. What's up, Live9? Yo, space is crazy when you think about it. The anyway, no, Brittle Hollow is not the place with the chompers, I don't think. That's another place. That's a uh, Dark Ember or whatever the fuck. No, not Dark Ember. Uh, dark Bramble. Oops. Hmm. Can I go into here, I wonder? What's up, Nandre? I think I tried it before, I just forgot. Ooh, 
light mode? True. Hmm. What's all the space debris all about, huh? Yo, Nandre, how's Helldivers been? Seems like you're having a fun time with it. Yo, Elf, let's go. So, so fun. Yeah, it looks like a good time. Sleeper hit. Helldivers is great for real. Yeah. It seems like it's like lethal vibes, but just more chaotic even. We're in trouble. We are in trouble, I think. Cool weapon, silly ragdoll physics, yep. That's awesome. Oh, is Bobby flying for the uh, streamer rewards? Yo, Marvel Snap sponsoring the streamer awards. Pretty cool. Pretty fucking cool. That's a that's a that's a sick uh, sponsor. Snap coming through. Snap rising. Premium variant for gifting or subbing? That's sick, too. I think I'm just going to die. Loki? It's fine, though. We're dead. We're not living. <laughs> Done. It's, a, it's Jove. Use your suits option in an ill-advised manner. Let's go! We did it. We got an achievement. That's a pretty cool uh, highlight reel right there. Okay, so now we know a few things. Still, I still don't know where Nice is. I, I forgot where he is. Or they, sorry. We run it back. We run it back. Here we go. Get on there. Lift off. Cockpit crew. Where are we going? We simply go. We have. We have to. There's simply no other choice, guys. The app. The Atlas Rock. Dark Bramble. I hate Dark Bramble. The Sun. Hey guys. Ash Twin, Ember Twin. Nope. Ember Twin. Also, we have like issues. We have to figure out. Giants Deep. Brittle Hollow, there we are. <laughs> Cause there was that, that, that sand cave that we like died in, but I feel like we still have time to cook. How do I know Brick Nerman? Bro, dude, dude used to make, you, dude used to make TikToks in like 2018 where he would say, shout out Chris Melberger, then fart. And that was his like thing for like a year straight. I thought he was like a, a weirdo at first. I was like, this guy fucking sucks. Like I thought he was like a troll. He would just go shout out Chris Melberger and then just rip ass for like a year straight. And then I like responded to him once 
and he and he like cr he's posted a video on his YouTube of him crying because I guess he was a fan of mine from Vine. And he like doesn't post anymore, and he got married or some shit, right? Oh, I forgot to put on my suit. Oops. That'll do it. Why my why did my character die like that? <laughs> yeah, him and his brother will like post shit where like they're being like super weird with each other. Another rite of passage. Yeah, that's okay. Me if I was an astronaut. It's curious though that the guys chilling on the moons aren't wearing a uh, aren't wearing suits. But they're okay. Yeah, I used to get Brick Nerman raids on Twitch too way back in the day. From from TikTok. And it would be like the chat was just diabolical, dude. I'd be playing Fortnite and I would have all these zoomers in my fucking chat. <laughs> it's crazy, bro. It's crazy. I was like, oh great, here we go. Yeah, that's that's some interesting lore. Pew pew when you get a raid from Joe. <laughs> no, actually like that's the same vibe. Literally the same vibe. You got Krub a cameo from his brother yesterday. Oh, that's funny. Okay, here we are. What's up, Sour Cherry? How you doing? What up, Lizard Queen? You love this game? Dude, it's fun. What up, Pickle? How you doing? What up, Tina? Hello, dude. <clears throat> okay. Here we go. I'm just gonna go in the old-fashioned way here. Nope. Unbuckle. Suits on. Refuel jetpack. Get out of here. Yo, two titty. Thanks for the seven months. Welcome back. Good to see you. There's Gabro. Okay. Where's the entrance? What's up, Sydney? gonna feel that one guys bro tie your shoes bruise in the morning for sure you're right this seems like something over here okay I've already been here. What's up, Ruthie? How are you, dude?
gonna go heal and get more fuel real quick since we're here. <clears throat> and we somehow managed to, uh, ooh, what is this? This tree seems interesting. Nope. Oh, here it is. Oh, great. Okay, we're chilling, we're chilling, we're chilling, we're chilling. Okay, I need to get to that tower, I think, where like all the information is. Nailed it. Yep. Yeah, we nailed it. Okay. This place is cool. So there's this and this and this. So it seems like there was one something and then the bramble seed took over and now this is completely consumed by the bramble seed. Okay? In case you guys were curious. So we gotta figure that out. For sure. Huh. Oxygen tank refilled. Dark Bremble. Obviously. What's happening? I'm like stuck. Okay. How do I go anywhere? Ooh. I need to get up there, I think, somehow. That's the play. Bobby, please. We all have families, man. Okay. Chat, how do I unread something? Okay, there we go. We want to get over to this fucking spot. This is huge. The problem is there's a big jump here and I don't know how to do it right. Oh, fuck. Well, there goes that whole area. Hey, man, we needed that. Dick, dick. Fuck. All right. That stinks. gonna die I think again ooh
Yo, see, thanks for the 19 months. Welcome back. Fuel level critical. Yes, dude. Whoops. <clears throat> Guys, don't take a shot every time I abandon my ship, okay? Okay, we're gonna die again. Yo, Blink Katie, thanks for the resub also. Good to see you. Welcome on in, welcome back. What's up, Gris? How are you? Okay, that's fine. Shot of water, that's a good call. Okay. Maybe we go to the interloper again. I think we have some information on what's there. I think we landed there. That was the first place we landed, and I think we didn't really know what we were doing. So maybe we go back. Take a shot every time I reset? Nah, come on. Okay, so the interloper, what, what's going on there? Let's see. Brutal Hollow, Ash Twin, At Atler Rock, Quantum Moon. We don't, Hollow's Lantern, we don't actually have anything. Giant's Deep, Dark Bramble, White Hole, Interloper. <laughs> There's more to explore here. I'll let you know. Okay, cool. Let's go. Let's go set that. Let's go check that out. Carl, yeah, he's just like, man, this dude's really excited to go explore, it looks like. Ember twin. No. Atler Rock. Dark Bramb. The fuck's the interloper at? What's that red thing up there? Huh? What is this? Blinking light. Do I know? Do I know this thing? Outer Wilds Ventures. Huh. Oh, this is DLC related. Okay. A space bear. Okay, so I can, can I not do anything with it yet?
That's interesting. Let's go, uh... Let's go back. Let's go to the interloper now. Gabe is made of barrel. Gabe is barrel boy. Come on, enter Lopa. Cool, you found it though? Thanks, man. Yeah, I'm what you would call a gamer, I guess. If that's chill. Let's chill with you, man. Okay, so we're going to the interloper now. There's more to discover here, which is good. Very nice music. What up, Sarah Miz? Happy almost weekend for you as well, dude. For like M83 and Sigur Rose vibes. Very good. Yo, Slug, thanks. Dude, yeah, it's great. It's really good, Bobby. Both great artists? Yeah, dude. I don't know like where. They want us to go. It's over here, yeah. Okay. This is. This is the trouble. This is trouble. Seems the comet wishes to submerge our shuttle in the ice. It may, if we stay in the surface too long, then the shuttle may freeze entirely. Even if it did, couldn't someone call it home to the gravity cannon on Ember Twin? Yes, but the exploration of the comet would be more difficult if we were in, within the shuttle until someone, if we were without the shuttle until someone recalled it. Perhaps we shouldn't have landed on the dark side of the comet. Some of us remained in the shuttle to keep it warm and continue monitoring the surface. This would be wise, I think, Clary, if you don't mind waiting. Okay. So someone's somewhere still. On the shuttle, maybe? It's like, you can't really tell because it's fucking iced up. Someone's around here, though. That's that's true. Yeah, this, this comet is icy as shit. And not in, like, a dressing cool kind of way. Need a flamethrower? Kind of, honestly. Hmm. Let's... 
<laughs> Let's see here. There's something right there. That's my scout, bro. I think. I'll double check and see. Yeah, that's my scout. Hmm. What's up, eggs? How you doing, dude? You what up, CJ? How are you? Dude, some, there's something about this. the sun I'm like skating on this freaking thing No, the sun is hot. Ha ha. To be fair, you beat me to that. Dude. Couldn't someone call it back home to the gravity cannon on Ember Twin? So does he have to go to Ember Twin, maybe? Oh, I'm about to die here. I think. What's happening? What's happening? Oh, that's the fucking s my ship's in the sun, man. Well, that's fun. We had a good run. Whoa, wait. Why are all the planets fucking synced up like that? One. 
But the final one's gonna be on the sun, I think, right? We might get all of them sinking up here. Holy shit! Three minutes of auction left. That's cool. I'm just gonna be out here dying on this freaking comet. That was cool. Yeah, I'm about to die, but you know what? It was worth it. And we need to go to um some. We need to go to the uh, that one place and use the gravity cannon to suck in the um, shuttle or something. Ow. Yeah, what up, Zach? Dude, I'm loving it, man. It's fun. What's it called again? Gravity Cannon at Ember Twin. That's what we gotta go to Ember Twin and get that gravity cannon. Right, let's just die on purpose real quick. Yup. Yo, Zach, when is that? I have to figure out what my vibe is. If I'm gonna do that or not, because I still I still have so much shit that I'm doing. But I, I definitely want to uh, go. I've been talking to eggs about it. Alright, yo, I'm gonna go I'm gonna go piss and get some coffee real quick. Be right back. Don't go anywhere, guys. You're back.
This game's pretty. Wait, you guys, real quick, want to see something nice? Check this out. So chill, man. Meanwhile, my cat just threw up. I love him. He's so funny. Okay. <clears throat> Cheers. Oh, yeah. That's some... That is some cold brew. All right. We need to do this. Let's go to Ember Twin and see what the vibe is there real quick. Okay. Nope. Ember Twin. There we go. Perfect. I'm watching Married at First Sight. Yeah, dude. Bro, I, I, I don't know if they're like a member from Twitch or not, but... That beanie is kind of a recent beanie, so they definitely, like, might know us to some degree, which is cool and wild. Yo, Vic. Thanks for the 32 months. It's me. Kush, I had a feeling it was you. She's a nerd, too. Love it. Oh, she's, like, a gamer? Yeah, Marceline, there are a lot of people like that, which is which is cool. Andrew, sounds good. We'll see you in a little bit. Oh yeah, if she's a gamer, then she's probably definitely a potential community member, which is extra cool. Okay, so Ember Twin. There's a lot of weird shit, Ash Twin, on this planet. I remember, like, there was stuff that we, like, we didn't see. Oh, shit. Oh, okay. That's good, though. That's fine. Okay, let's... Okay. This weird fucking thing. Store needs to remain closed for some time. We're running experiment on the White Hole Station. Yada, yada, yada. I think I've been here before. Oh, no, I haven't been here before. Oh, shit. The Sunless City. Until we can prove the other wrong. So it's been inconvenient. The lab currently can only be accessed by the path from the Sunless. Okay, so we can only get to there from the Sunless City. 
the high energy lab. Great. So we, we gotta go find the Sunless City. Which we've done before, but it's a little little finicky to get here. Okay. So that's the power. Oh. So there's ghost matter here. I need to figure out a way to not get hit by this ghost matter. Yeah, so that's not that's not it. Hmm. There's definitely gonna be there's definitely a, a way to not die to ghost matter. We gotta figure that out. There's definitely a way. And I wonder if ghost matter and like dark bramble and all these other fucking places <gasps> have something in common. Because we found out that ghost matter isn't it's it's actually something else. I think we with the lore. So I gotta figure that out too real quick here. Because that, I feel like we have to figure out what's going on there. View ship log. Let's go to, hold on. How do I go to map mode? Here we go. Timber, Ember Twin, view entries. The Nomai shuttle that's frozen on the interloper can be called home to the gravity cannon on Ember Twin. We got to do that. The Nomai detected a quantum signal co coming from the hourglass twins. The negative time interval measured at the white hole station was further investigated as the high energy lab. Yup. Can only be accessed by the Sunless City. I found a trailmaker for the Sunless City, but the path is blocked. There's a path leading to the high energy lab from the Sunless City. Escape pod two. Oh, there's more to explore at the, at the escape pod. Okay, you can mark that as well. From the HUD. And then let's go back to the ship log here. And I want to find out more about... Um... Streams buffering heavy for you? Uh... It looks okay right now. It might have been for a little bit. It looks like it's chilled. There's oh, there's the gravity cannon. I recall the Nomai shuttle from the quantum moon. Okay. Quantum moon. Quantum. Grove. Okay. Northern Glacier, Whitehall Station, High Energy Lab. Inside the Seed, Frozen Nomai Shuttle, Gravity Cannon, Ash Twin Project, Nomai Mines. Oh, the Mural. Okay. Yo, what up, Bones? Thanks for the 75 months, dude. Hello, hello. Okay, let's see. The vessel. The Nomai warped through the solar system in a spaceship called the Vessel. They were attempting to follow a signal from the eye of the universe. The vessel crashed somewhere in Dark Bramble. Okay, so the vessel's in Dark Bramble. Cool. Quantum moon. The Nomai on Brittle Hollow observes a phantom moon that would sometimes appear in the sky. A Nomai named Solomon, or Sol Solanum landed a shuttle on the quantum moon. Ch Church research mentions... A quantum moon that no Harthian has been able to land on. So interesting. Whitehole Station. Oh my god, there's so much, so much stuff on there. Ash Quint Twin Project. Okay. Well, let me go back to, uh, let's go back to Ash Twin real quick. And explore a little bit more. There's definitely a way to do something, I think, with the, uh, Oh, it's the escape pod, too. Have we been here? Oh, uh, that, yeah, that's where, that's where we want to go. Escape pod, too. Hey, know what? Bones, thank you very much for the resub. Good to see you, Vic. Thank you as well for the resub. Appreciate you. Escape pod two, yeah, you're right. Um, 
I like the game a lot. Ah, oh, shit. Okay. Signal identified as escape pod two. We need status reports of all systems, but initial things first. Is everyone unharmed? <laughs> Our escape pods, passengers are afraid, but physically well. Anona, everyone survived the crash. This is a relief at least. You have my gratitude, but Burr, were you able to find the other escape pods distress signals? I can hear both signals somewhere in this star system, but I don't believe either escape pod crashed on the same planet as us. Okay. Well, that's all stuff that I can read right here. That's good. Eternal environment scan complete. Temperature is pro prohibitively high. Verdict inhospitable. Do not seek shelter on planet surface. Collision imminent, preparing for direct impact. Now launching uh, escape pod three and two. Escape pod two vessel has been uh, mortally injured. Emergency sequence activated. Ooh, okay. The heat from the star system sun is more bearable below the surface. When our escape pod punctured this planet's surface, it broke into what scans show as a cave system with much cooler air. Okay. This is where we found out about the sand. Passages are a maze. Even with this danger, they are still the best chance for survival. We'll form teams and descend into the caves. We can mark our findings on the walls to avoid becoming ir irreversibly lost. Be cautious, everyone, and be aware of the sand as you search. It appears to be rising gradually. Okay, so we were here before. Okay, we have to just simply get down there. We were trying to get somewhere down here, but the sand kind of fucked us up. The path of the shelter site is somewhat convoluted, so follow the instructions ahead closely. Okay, that, that's helpful though. To reach the shelter site, walk forward until you meet the sandfall at the pit, then turn left. Continue to the room filled with rock column formations and climb upward through the opening above them. The sand here is rising, so you must be cautious yet swift. Walk forward until you meet the sandfall, then turn left. Walk forward until you meet the sandfall, then turn left, and you have to go up over rocks, apparently. Oh, here we go. W. Okay. Now what's this say? Be cautious crossing the chasm ahead. The bridge Melori Icraft is, it will do its job, but it isn't strong. <laughs> Once on the far side, look for the tunnel hidden behind the falling sand. Follow it and you'll reach the shelter site. The shelter behind the falling sand. Okay, so it's right here. Whoa. Okay. You're doing well. There's only a little further left to go until you reach the shelter site. You can rest there. Hurry before the sand comes. Where do I go? Oh! Let's go! This has got to be it. Gaming. Yeah, you're right. Shit. Oh, what is all this fucking shit? Whoa. What's all this?
Angler Fish Overlook District. Stepping Stone District. High Energy Lab Trailhead. I Shrine District. Huh? The fuck is this place? Should we build the Sun Station to power the Ash Twin Project? Are there other ways to generate this level of power? Theoretically, yes. Practically, no. I can't imagine discovering them in our lifetimes. <laughs> I understand the proposal is unsettling, but the Sun Station must be built if we hope to com complete the Ash Twin Project. I almost can't comprehend this as being suggested seriously. The purpose of the Sun Station goes against every standard we hold ourselves to and everything we believe in as a species. Unsurprisingly, I, I disagree. We're pushing a possible new technology further than ever before. That, in my experience, is the defining characteristic of our species. If we fail, and the probability of this is not so insignificant, we will without question destroy ourselves, all life here, and the rest of the star system. I, I wish to protect these species. <clears throat> The potential annihilation of an entire star system is too severe of a cost. We shouldn't build the sun station. No matter how badly we want the knowledge that comes with it. Fear of failure is a poor reason not to try, I believe. If we're cautious, the sun station will work. I believe in pie. <clears throat> Poke, I'm deeply honored. Idea, 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 I comprehend your position, however, if we aren't at all, but certain the sun station will not cause destruction once we built it, then I won't support the station's use. Interesting, okay. Ship log, continue. What's up here? Okay, so they built the sun station, but there was it was very controversial. Because <clears throat> half the people are like, yo, it's working. The other half are like, fuck off. So this is the anglerfish outlook. Oh, so it brings us to that, it looks like. Huh. Anglerfish Overlook. Here we go. This is amazing. Look inside the cave. How did this come to rest here? We haven't encountered others in these caves. I think this is a rare find. Nothing. We need to find a way inside quickly. Mallory. Because when I returned here to the search of the entrance of the cave, there were children playing on the specimen. From what we could see, Clays, I believe the specimen must be very old indeed. Imagine what we might learn if we could examine it. We both agree it's unlikely that Dry Planet is this horrorous place of origin. Especially considering what we observed during the vessel's evacuation. Clearly this hole is too small for it to fit through. Hypothesis, there is another entrance to this cave. If there is, Claudius and I will find it. We can't leave valuable information undiscovered. Hmm. Okay, so what we're going to do is toss our little scout in there. Yup. Ooh. Okay, so there's two dead bodies, it looks like, and then there's a thing to read. And the, and the angler... You know what's interesting? The anglerfish's light still shines, even though they're dead. That is interesting. If you don't mind me saying that. Okay, so that we learn a little bit more about the anglerfish. Let's go down here. Okay, um... Bro, what is all this stuff? Great, everyone mines. There's the ghost matter right there. Doesn't even matter that I could open it because I'll die to all that ghost shit in there. Dude, Tay, it's so interesting. Well, back to Infinite Craft Hell. That's kind of cool. That's, that's, a, that's a thing. Just 
Just need a two word that starts with neat. Yeah, then, then you got it. Then you're set. Guys, in case you didn't know, Eggs is trying to get neat, dude. In infinite craft. And they're close. This is the gravity cannon. No fucking way. Bro, not all this fucking bullshit. Great. I have to fly through there, I think. Yo, Need Freak is actually pretty good. Okay. What the fuck is this place? What the fuck is this? Yeah. The shuttle's currently at the common. Okay, wait, hold on. Call the shuttle home. Activate the gravity cannon. Call the shuttle home. Yo, we did it! Ow, fuck you! Okay. Ooh! Whoa, is this their outfits? I fear our situation may be dire. Pipe Pokemon I landed this comet long after its arrival. In the star system, our shuttle's equipment heard strange energy readings coming from somewhere beneath the surface. Pie and Poke were able to locate a fissure in the ice in the comet's sunward side, and they descended inside to investigate the source of the readings. But Pi and my sister have been gone for a long time. They haven't contacted me since descending below the surface, either. Should I leave the shuttle to look for them? I want to follow protocol, but I don't know what I'll do if they aren't well. Poke Pi, come back to me safely, my friends. Okay. Okay. What is this fucking thing? Where am I going? Whoa. Huh. Whoa, okay. That's the sun, that's not good. Okay, so that just launches me that way. This brings me Hmm. Oh. Now that's interesting. Back. Nice. Hmm. 
So what's the what's the scoop here? It's the four one one. Now I'm just talking out loud, don't worry, I'm not asking for help. Okay, and then Okay, so you can't go into the sun. Uh, with a ship. Good to know, good to know. Guys, we figured it out. You can't go into the sun, which is pretty chill. Now, hmm. Now, my question is, I wonder if I have to do all that bullshit again, or if I have that information, if I could just skip to the good part, you know what I mean? We'll find out real quick here. Ship log, Sunless City, Sun Station, Anglerfish, Gravity Cannon, Subsurface, yada yada. Let's do a zoom view here. The Nomai debated building a Sun Station in order to power the Ashwin project. There's more to explore in the Sunless City, yep. Anglerfish fossil, but the opening is only big enough for the scout. Old settlement, okay. Northern settlement, cool. Let's go to, let's do more of the sun city or? Okay. Let's go do more of that. We are getting somewhere. The fact that we're seeing like outfits and stuff is really cool too. Yo, PD smiling duckling. Thank you guys for the resubs as well. There's that red thing again. Um, the Sunless City. Here we are. And yeah, guys, if you get timed out, it's nothing against you or anything. It's just mainly uh, for spoiler's sake. We don't want it to be, uh, you know, like there's a good chance you'll get timed out even if it's not necessarily a spoiler, but it seems like it might be one or it's, it's close enough to be one. Like, we just want it, we want it to be as immersive and like chill as possible here without people like trying to help. That's mainly it though. Ember twin. Oh yeah. Okay. Come scream in the Discord with us. Yeah, there's a Discord where you guys can all talk shit about how I'm not doing it right. Or whatever. <clears throat> ah, shit. Okay, so I can't go in here. I think I can, but it's just like... I could definitely get there, but I, I, I don't know as well. M. Hughes, I have no idea. I'm assuming I, there's still a long way to go, personally, but also, maybe not. to say exactly do not follow this tunnel to, the, to its end keep moving friends
Dispatches leads to a breathable air ref ref refuel your supply. That's about it, though. Where's the, is it? Is it? Okay. This is it. Okay. What up, Blount? How are you? Somewhat conv convoluted. Walk forward and see me at the sandfall, then turn left. Okay. And then you go up. Cool. And then I have to go through. I have to go past this shit right here, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, we go up here. Okay. There we go. And then it's... I'm gonna hurry up over here. Ow. And then there we are. Okay. Cool. All right, let's go find out the other two things here. What is this? This is the high energy trailhead. And what is this? The... Oh, that's all the way down there. What's the other one? What up, Kobe? Thank you guys for the hype train. The eye shrine. Okay, so that's up there. Okay. Let's go to that first. Okay. Wimpy, Cat Lady, and Kobe. Thank you, guys. Here we go. Sunless City. Okay. Gravity Cannon. Wait, so we, we didn't we already do this? Hey, we already did all this. Stepping Stone District. I'll check this out. <clears throat> What's up, Miss Me Pockets? How are you? We're meeting in the Fossil Fish Cave to play the game. If you're too big to climb through the over angel hole, you have to go through the long way, but it isn't far. Go to the Stepping Stone Cave and then go up into the Fossil Fish Cave. I tried to get to the Fossil Fish through Stepping Stone Cave, but I couldn't find the entrance. Where is it? Remember to feed the fossil fish first. If you go to the angler fish overlook and throw a light into its mouth, he'll show you the way. <laughs> Taggy can't fit through the angler fish overlook hole anymore because he grew bigger. He's taller than Levi now. Who cares? Alex is still the, the tallest. Huh? Okay, so we have to do something to make it... We have to feed it light? We playing the fossil fish game tonight? I fed the phosphorus a new lantern. If you go to Stepping Stone Cave, the entrance to the fossil fish cave is easy to see now. Gratitude, Salama. It's good you're small enough to climb into the uh, anglerfish overlook. I'm still small enough. You won't be for long. Okay. It's a stepping stone cave right here. Let's see what it's all about. Okay. 
we'll show you the way. We are running out of fuel, it seems. So this is, this is just this way now. What the fuck? Three minutes of oxygen left. Great. Can we design band merch? Uh, not really. The only the only band merch we've ever done was uh Ricky Montgomery, actually. Which was which was fun. Yeah, a tree would be kinda nice for some for some health. Oh, oh there, there there are trees. Hold on, I need to go back out. Oh, but the, the place is filling up with sand, so we can't even get to some of the cool areas. That's so weird. Oh. Is that what it means by feeding it, maybe? Might have to come back here again. This isn't good. There's Scout. Oh, is this where the fucking thing is? Oh, it's up here. Oh, it's right here, bro. Fuck, but I can't get to it, man. So no gas. Hmm. Fuck. I, I, I'll come back and do this. That's that's cool though. We figured it out. Edging content, yeah. That's okay. We come back. We also learned a bunch of new shit. Which is good. It's the inside of the Grand Canyon with a, with a giant fossil. Yo, Philly, thanks for the resub, dude. I appreciate that. Yeah, that was a really good run. Good loop, good loop. We go, we go, we go. We're learning more and more every time. Icky, I think I did. Well, I used like, the game helped me also, but I think I did, yeah. 
I fed it my, uh... My, uh, my little scout. So it lit it up, lit up where I had to go, which was pretty smart. I guess. What's up, Joel? How you doing? No, uh, Nell, good to see you as well, dude. So there's that. Yeah, we guys, we might be gaming. Possibly. The Sunless City. That's right here. Okay, here we go. We run it back. You're right. Yo, Maya Avocado, thanks for the uh, bits. Appreciate that. You're back for more. Welcome. What's up, Fika? How are you? What's up, Bang? How you doing, dude? Ow. I'm getting tossed around a little bit here. Okay. We have to save a lot of the fuel. We can't be so, like, silly with it. Unless we could find, like, a fuel tank in this area. What's up, Joella? How are you? What is this? A little secret tunnel here? Nope. Sick. What is this? What is all this? We might have a dude. We might have a dude. Yeah, John, that's what um Sammy and Luke were telling me. They were like, yo, you got to watch Prisoners. Do I get up here? Oh, crispy, dude. Letterbox is, is it, it's just a place where you can keep track of what movies you've seen and uh, all that good shit. But I feel like since you like like reviewing movies and like you know letting people know what you've seen, it's just a great place where you can like keep track of like your reviews and stuff. Yeah, it's like a social media thing for films, but like it's cool just to like look back at like what you've watched. Oh, I can go over there. Here we go. It's like good reads for movies, yeah. Yeah, this whole time I'm trying to fucking figure it out. There's a bridge right here, you know? Whoa! What the fuck was that the interloper? You just joined? Let's go. Who's this little egg guy? Church. It's you, hello. I take it your first launch went well then. Welcome to the Hourglass Twins. <laughs> Mind the sand now. What are you up to? Hornfield's asked me to update on your star charts, so I'm out here observing. This is one of the best places in the solar system to spot astronomical events, you know. What's weird is I've actually seen a couple of supernova today. Usually I'd, I'd, I'd be fortunate to, just to see one. Just keep an eye on, uh, an I or four on the stars, and maybe you'll spot one yourself. Tell me, what can I do for you? I found something. I found your notes about the Adel Rock's main crater. Did you? I hope they were useful. The planet I mentioned may have been frozen solid or just partially made of ice, like a 
much colder giant sea, it's hard to say. It used to be the fifth planet in our solar system. You notice there's no such planet now. <laughs> in its place is Dark Bramble, which, how to put this, grew into the space the fifth planet used to occupy. Dark Bramble, Dark Bramble quite literally appeared at the center of the fifth planet and began destroying it from the inside out. Eventually, the planet shattered completely and its shards were flung across space. Some of these shards collided with the celestial bodies in our solar system, such as the Atler Rock, which I, uh, At 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 Rock, which I believe is how the biggest crater was formed. Okay. I have a question for you. Where should I explore here? To be honest, I haven't left this lake bed. I didn't mean to brag, but I'm really quite good with the little scout, so I've been taking pictures of everything from right here on my campsite. Have you seen the old shipwreck on Ember Twin Southern Hemisphere, the one shooting a beam out of it? It's not one of our own crashes, surprisingly enough. That's a that's a Nomai ship. You'll find Nomai ruins across the twins, but strangely not a single settlement. Believe me, if there was one to see, I've I've have I've seen it with my little scout. So where do they live? Not on the surface, clearly. Ember Twin is full of cave systems, though. Maybe the answer lies underground. It does. I found something. Actually, never mind. Cool. And a little legend here. Roast the marshmallow? Okay. Thanks. Unidentified signal nearby. Chert. Okay, so now we have Chert in the mix. I need to get on top of that sand ball at some point. You always got to hit the Malo for sure. Okay, what is this little zone? Whoop! What's up, Zeph? How are you? Uh, what is this? Oh, this is that. Okay, hold on. Let's go this way. Cave shard. What is all this? <laughs> Coleus is missing. He vanished from the lake bed cave, the one at the bottom of the dry um, lake bed several days ago. And we're unable to find any trace of him. I don't know how much air he had when he disappeared. I beg any friend reading this, help us recover Coleus. Okay. This rock is very familiar. Did you travel here, my sedimentary friend, because your rock color, your knee color and texture appears on to rock I met earlier. Wasn't this the same rock fragment in the cave we found at the bottom of the dry lake bed at the North Pole? We plan to re-examine the, the north, northern lake bed cave. Maybe our friendly rock will meet us down there. An update. Mellor and I went back to the lake bed cave and observed this rock again. Sometimes it's there and sometimes it isn't. That means this rock wanders like the quantum moon does. How curious. Okay. Cool. And now it's gone. And now that fucker's gone, baby. That's crazy. What is with these fucking rocks? <clears throat> cool. Kelsa, that's funny as fuck. Okay. City. Oh, that's a bunch of sand. Good for us. Okay, so this we might have to come back to this planet a few times. There's a lot of stuff that we're cooking here. Hmm. 
think I'm just going around in circles, low key. It's okay though. Okay. And I'm running out of a lot of I'm running out of fuel like crazy though. That's okay. But you know what I might do actually, low key? I might sleep on this planet, restart my day, and uh Get some more fuel and then the sand will also go back down. No offense. I feel like that might be a play. Instead of having to constantly land here. Okay, let's do, let's do a little doze. A little doze off situation. One, two, three, four. Whoa! Wake up. Okay. okay. There's that, and then there's over here. What is this? Sheesh. Is the same rock or different rock? Friends, if you have, if you have any sign of class, I need you to uh, finish better trace during our. I need my gratitude for studying the cave geology. Where was young Coleus at? He disappeared in the cave at the bottom of the dry lake bed without warning. Examine a sample. We'll learn by examining the northern lake bed. Okay, so this might be the, a different rock. Interesting. And there it goes again. Now it's back. So this is where we came from up here. Now it's gone again. <coughs> um. Yeah, Sammy's back home. Yeah, her and Luke. Is that my ship or someone else's ship? Uh. <clears throat> Excuse me. I think it's my ship. Random. Okay, here we go. Let's speed run this real quick. I think I go. I think I go down here. Go down here. Oh my God! This the 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 sand. It's too late. It's too fucking late. Oh, no, it's this way. Never mind. Not the way it went. Now we're, we're fucked. It is what it is. Oh yeah, the Ash Twins having like a little bit of a supernova moment, it looks like. With the glows. J just what Chertz told us about. Might have to do one of these real quick. Huh? There we go.
that's not what we wanted to do. Where's the bridge? I saw a bridge. Okay. Some time has passed since I checked in with you, Pi. How are you and I Idea pro progressing with the Sun Station plans? Presently, my assessment is that our plan will either fail explosively or succeed explosively. Pi, you know I don't find that funny. How curious, Rami. I think uh, thinks I'm a gas. I don't recall requesting uh, that you monitor this conversation, Idea. I don't see what state of matter you are to do this. And I don't recall supporting the Sun Station's construction, but here we are. I thought this time spent away from the station would be beneficial to you both. I'm immensely interested in testing your hypothesis, Yaro. That at least we can agree on. Okay, so that they're building this goddamn place and it's giving them a frickin' it's giving them odds. Okay, so that's a uh, hazard. Thank you, Snap. Or Scout, whatever you want to call yourself. Thank you. Yo, K Spawn, thanks for the 11 months. Good to see you. Okay, so this place is filled with these little spikes. Okay, that's not good. We're going in this little spot. Nice. My leg! Huh. There's nothing here. That's okay. So I can shoot this thing down there. Nope. Sun's so close. It's spicy. Just happy to be here. You were happy to have you, Battery Kinsey. Good to see you. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Oh, that's cool. Okay. Nice. I think we're about to blow up, so I'm reading all this real fast. Ship, okay, ship log updated, cool. The Ash Twin project's underway. Curious what you, uh, you and Poke found on the Whitehall station. Okay, so a visit to the station would be double useful. Stop using the scroll wall to flirt with my sister in romantic manner, her density. And go meet her on the Whitehall Station. Okay, the sister's there. I'd be happy to explain my findings. I wish I could uh, arrive with you. One warp core fresh from the Black Hole Forge. Root is installing this core sibling on Brittle Hollow. Okay. Good to know. I thought I thought we were about to have the apocalypse. That's why I started reading fast. Okay, where are we? We're like in the sun right now. No, my Riz. Ooh, the sun's turning red. Was it always red? Or it looked like it had like more of an orange vibe. Yeah, nuclear menace. Thanks for the 31 months. Let's go. Okay, now what the fuck is this place? Oh, that's gonna f fuck me up right now. Oh, uh. oh, uh. uh, yeah, I'd say we're gaming. <laughs> Uh, 
Oh, yeah. Yo, Mayor, thanks for the 76 months, dude. Good to see you. Good to have you. Oh, it kind of like makes you go up in the air. Go up there, okay. <clears throat> okay. Here, maybe. Okay. Friends listening from the Hanging City, we are planning the Ash Twin Project, the high energy lab on uh, the equator. I became lost in Ember Twin, my gratitude that Rami found me, but the high energy lab is the building with the large solar panels. I'm surprised I didn't see it. I imagine uh, our otherwise immensely clever con uh, Conoy would lose his own head if it weren't automatically, atomically impossible. He would lose his own... Wait, so they can't lose their own heads? That's interesting. Oh, wait, what the fuck is this? Uh... Bro, is that a Nomai? Robot who's a little crushed. It's a crushed little guy. Yo, Mayor, thanks again for the resub. I appreciate that, by the way. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Ow. Okay. Hmm. Can't think of anything funny or clever. Emma, that's fine, man. That's cool. So you could like travel in between on that thing. But only from the other way. Okay, so the sun's getting really red and big. Hmm. Sun's getting really red over here. Let's go, let's go look at what we, what we discovered real quick, too, while we're here. Me and Pimple. Okay, we got Charts Camp, or Church Camp, Quantum Caves, Lake Bed Cave, Ash Twin Towers, Black Hole Forge. Okay. A Wandering Rock was first spotted in the cave at the bottom of the dry lake bed. A Nomai named Kaleas mysteriously, mysteriously vanished from a cave at the bottom of the dry lake bed. Might be time to, uh... Is, is a, a muck here. Little hollow. The giant's deep. The sun. Is it cold enough yet to maybe to maybe walk on? What the fuck? What the fuck? What does that mean? Oh, I'm 
screwed. Whoa, guys, we stayed alive long enough where we ex experienced the sun exploding, huh? Now that is wild. Hmm. But what does it mean? What does it mean? Guess we'll find out. That was that was probably one of our best runs ever. If I had to say it. Sun station. Okay. High energy lab. Anglerfish fossil. I want to go there real quick. Okay, how do I mark it? Let's go, let's go, uh, try doing the anglerfish situation. Uh, no, this isn't, it's not a new hat. I just don't really wear it super often. But it's, uh, from Derek Steez, the boy. Dark Bramble. I think once we find out what's going on with, uh, this fossil, then we'll learn about how to how to maybe maneuver in dark bramble emma and mayor thank you guys very much by the way for the resubs spoiler chat's going wild sheesh yo cody i hope you enjoy them that was such a cool view of seeing the sun explode yo jess thanks for the 13 by the way appreciate you Yo, sounds good. Bobby, we'll see you later, dude. Thanks for hanging. Emma, hey, man. That's on her. Wait, whose ship is this? It's on my ship. That's, that, might, that might be Church's. That's probably Church's ship. Okay. Oh, we can go through here before this because there's no sand, sand yet. We can go all the way down here, I think. Holy shit. Because the sand hasn't started filling yet because it's like the start of the day. Shit. Can't go that way, though. That's cool. Fuck. No, nope, can't go that way either. Oh, the sand's starting. Oh, we're gonna drown in here. Get us out. Okay. That was cool as hell. I can't believe we watched the sun explode.
Whoops. Yo, what up, James? How you doing, dude? Yo, Keanu, hell yeah. Congrats. Yo, whip with the 46 as well. Let's go, whip. All right, chat. I'm going to go to the bathroom real quick. I'm going to leave you guys with this. Then we're going to doze off and then uh, find out what that fossil does. I'll be right back. Okay, we're back. This makes you feel like time is passing so fast. Okay. All right, let me doze off and then we'll uh, see what the vibe is real quick. What's up, Dustin Clay? How are you? Good to see you. Hey, quick question, pal. What's up, eggs? What happens when we doze off? Uh, I don't know. I think, it, I think it just makes time go faster. So maybe I shouldn't have done that. Okay, here we go. Oh, we've already, we've already seen this fucking thing, I feel like. Oh, what? Wait. Find any Sunny Cleus, I'd pull you to uh, tell me. He vanished without a trace during a research trip. Some of us from the Sunless Sea are here to help search for him. You have my gratitude, Burr. If Kalias never studying the is it K. Where was young Kalias lost, Mallory? In the cave at the bottom of the dry lake bed at the North Pole. It happened in an instance and without warning. Okay. So I could bring this with me, I think. Hemmings, it's a little bit of both, I would say. It's a little bit of both. Ow, fuck. The bottom of the dry lake bed. Hmm. Already holding scroll. Chert's research notes. Property of Chert. The number are making astronomical observations here. They chose an excellent spot. What is this big rotating device for? What was it that Nomai were observing? I'd po pose it that there's something special about the orange symbol on that device. How in the new astronaut's translator tool? Would be nice to have handy right out now. Okay. Light the campfire. Doze off. Here we go.
This planet sometimes and only sometimes has a moon. This is also of note. It disappears if no one is watching it. Isn't that a fascinating or so if no one's watching it, it disappears. But I found your note, Mallory. Kindly count me in among this moon uh, moon's admirers. I believe so. Not only does the moon appear around Brittle Hollow, it can I can confirm it sometimes orbits Timber Hearth as well. This is my first time encountering a neutral satellite with the ability to vanish when not being watched. We should study it, or even better, we should travel there. I agree, but our first step would be determining a method to track this phantom moon so we could always know where it is. Given its reluctance to move while constantly observed, there might be a form of macroscopic quantum mechanics. Okay. That's huge. What is this fucking place? What is this? Huh? Oh my god, it has where everything fucking is. Wait! Is this the moon? What the fuck is this? So this is, so this, this keeps track of every planet. What the fuck? Wait, this is crazy. Hold on. So is that the phantom moon right there? I think so. Yeah. And then... What does it... What does this mean? Why is this orange? Why is it moving so fast? Interesting, man. Now it's going a different way. Oh, so what is this folk? What is this following? Okay, there's the moon right there. So if I don't look at it, it goes away, bro. Yeah, but, but fucking fuck you, you know what I mean? Hmm. That's what I'm saying. Nice little eclipse when it's on the fucking moon. Or when it's on the sun. Okay. Yeah, something... There's something going on here. What's going on here now? What's this? Might be a form of macroscopic quantum mechanics. Yo, what up, Siege? How you doing, dude? Welcome back. Good to see you. Okay, wait, so this is this might be like the planet I'm currently on. I think. Based on this vibe, like that's the sun maybe and the sand. Okay, so everything's about to line up slowly, it seems. Or something's about to happen here. Eggs, yeah, I didn't respond because I it, it was in the morning. 
I think I read it and fell back asleep probably. That's that's my bad. Well, these are about to all line up. Fuck. Bro, I don't know. Oh. That seems interesting. I don't get it, man. Is that the moon right there? Learning more every day, guys. Ow. <laughs> Ooh, that's that was kind of clean. Yo, what up, Nick and Nicole? How you doing? Hope Lethal was fun. What's up, Bant? The Grove Shard? The Museum Shard, huh? Oh, there's no ball here. Wait, is the ball... Perhaps a rock that might just show up. Well, all the shards right here link up some kind of. That is fucking interesting to me. Huh. How the fuck? Oh, this sun is about to blow up at any second. I can just smell it. Great. 60 seconds, you know. <clears throat> well, you had a good run, guys. Until next time. Dude, right here, all the fucking shards are in here. What does that mean? They're all lined up right here, every single shard. That is interesting. I'm gonna take some notes on that. Good run. Good run. Yo, Lady Catherine, Finn Beetle, they catch with the resubs. Ooh. Very, very good run. What an interesting game, guys. What an interesting game. Was everyone's Valentine's Day? Good, we watched movies. Quantum Moon, what, what does that say? 
The Nomai hypothesized that the quantum moon might be a form of macroscopic quantum mechanics. There's more to explore here. Quantum moon. Okay. Hi, Moo. Hey, pretty girl. Hi, baby. Hi. Hi. What's up? Hi. What's up, baby? What, what brings you in here? Hi. Oh, you smell really good. You just vibing in here? stuff good stuff baby oh goodbye <laughs> there she goes there she goes guys that's moo 13 year old legend right there if that's okay to say with you guys oh now now little man's in here and moo are you guys fighting <laughs> They're fighting. Moon Little Man are fighting, bro. Hey. You say hi real fast, then we gotta go, okay? This is the noodle, little man. He's a noodle. What make model? Sam, good question. Baby, you can go in. Little man, you can. Perfect. Cat slash cat. Yeah, no, he's a little tabby, dude. Personally. Uh, he's chilling, though. Where do I go from here? Yeah, A.O. Bree, he's he's so big now. But he's still he's still a baby. Like he's still so small. But he's gonna be huge, I think. The Sunless City, there we go. Sammy and Luke loved him. Yeah, Tabby Cats are cool. They're very common, but they they're they're cool vibes. A cat's made out of Laffy Taffy. <laughs> That's weird. My game lagged. <clears throat> My game lagged, I swear. Yeah, me, I have no idea what you're talking about. So, I don't care. Game's not gonna make it. Game's got no shot, dude. Here we go. This is the run. This is the run. You'll definitely see it on Twitter now. Great. It's all over your for you page, man. I don't know how to escape it. Oh. What is it? It's, a, it's, a, it's like a, what is it? A stingray just giving it birth to a ton of babies or something? Or is it like cool because it's like kind of chubby? Like what's the vibe?
It got pregnant by itself. Oh, now that is interesting. In before all the tweets. <laughs> Ladies, <laughs> guys, finally, we don't need a man. We get, it's, it's happening. We can get pregnant on our own. There, oh, here we are. There was two male sharks with her, so it might be a shark stingray baby? Nah. Nah, because what in the infinite craft is that? A shark ray. Infinite crap brain rot. She's gonna have them soon. Okay. Okay. Wait. No. I. I kind of care. I think. Nah. This is actually interesting to me. I think. Is that a note? Has that ever happened before? Like a shark and stingray, or am I am I weird? Okay, so that looks like that's the sun station over there. Oh, this is bad. Oh. Have we gotten to Kid Leroy yet, or have we officially given up? Yes. I'd rather not talk about it. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I know it's a sore subject. That's my bad. It's impossible. Nah, because I'll get it. Nah, come on. Yo, Zelstis, thanks for the 28 months, dude. Welcome on in. Oh, I can just go through here now. The Sunless City. Oh, this is bullshit. Huh? Okay. How many hours? Uh, today or in general? Today? Um, I think almost four. Total, I think maybe 10. Oh, so that's me shooting it. Oh, wait, I wonder if I shoot myself. Can I be shooting when I'm in there? No. Hmm. Okay. 
Don't shoot yourself. Caught. Oxygen. Fuel. Okay. That's kind of sick, whatever the fuck that is. So, oh, does it bring me to? Okay, so that's interesting. Okay. So it looks like it almost brings you to the sun station. But there might be some sort of finagling you have to do. <clears throat> Yo, Zelsis, thanks again for the resub, by the way. Appreciate it. Yo. <gasps> Sammy officially made it home safe. Let's go. That's exciting. <clears throat> Suit up. What's up, G Wiz? There's the sun, Sunless City, there we go. Okay. We need to get back to the uh the sand area and do the fucking fossil thing. I know why it's taking a million years to do for us, but that's all we gotta do and we're good. Yeah, if you guys are confused while watching, uh, join the party. You feel me? <laughs> it is, this story's cool though, and I'm, I am getting a lot, but it's one of those things where you have to just keep trucking along, you know? Cool. Yo, what up, Beth? How you doing, dude? There's that. Lunar, I feel that. Yeah, I, it's. I'm, I'm enjoying it. Yo, Sarah, thank you for the 28 months. Appreciate you, Sarah. Welcome, welcome. Okay, we go this way. Yeah, Aubrey, especially when like you actually need to read it, and then it's like, nah, fuck you, actually. Like, okay. Okay, go here. Yo, hand banana, thanks for the 19 months. Welcome back. Okay. Thank you all for the resubs. I do appreciate it, seriously. Okay, here we go. Is 
Is this where the uh, fossil is? Yes, okay, so I need to shoot this thing. In its mouth. Okay, perfect. Now, yo, Capeless, thanks for the prime. Welcome on in. Stepping Stone District, that's where we're gonna go. Okay, getting some oxygen. Shit. Yo, Maddie's okay, thanks for the prime. All these primes coming in. Feel free, anyone else. You're vibing. Okay, so now we're gonna get to Okay, so it's right there, but we have to wait. Oh, cool. Okay. There's dead baby skeletons here. What the fuck does this say? What was that? Hold on. Bro, why is it doing that, man? Okay, view, log. <sighs> We're back kind of the I, I think it's I think it's snowing right now, which is fucking stupid. We're back, kind of. Uh, refresh, guys, if you didn't already. Rule change, the anglerfish now has to wear a blindfold and do not pick peak. Why are we changing it? It's too hard if you can't see anything. Ampi says real anglerfish are blind, so you have to wear a blindfold. Rule update, it's okay if younger kids don't wear the blindfold when they're it. The rest of us will still wear it if we for scientific accuracy. Okay, this is interesting. <laughs> The rest of us, the little fish, line up against one wall. When the anglerfish says go, the little fish sneak across the other side. If the anglerfish catches you, you're eaten. Last little fish to be caught is the new anglerfish. The old anglerfish gives the new anglerfish the blindfold and becomes a little fish. Okay. Oh, there's something up there. Is this anglerfish study an update Mallory while I was here making sketches of the anglerfish I observed the children I saw earlier playing here they had a role to their game that incorporates our research and it's wonderful I'm entirely done it's never been too early to appreciate biology the long growth protruding from its head is bi bioluminescent perhaps it's using the growth to attract prey a lure visually the specimen appears to be of the same species as the anglerfish and dark bramble we don't believe it originated from this planet. <laughs> the anglerfish's digestive tract suggests death by starvation. Uh, so it died because it got starved. Yo, we are learning a lot right now. Okay. Ooh, so this is now... Now we're out here, okay.
cool. Bro, what is this place? How do we get away? There's the, uh, the sun station that I want to go to. Yo, we are bees now. Thanks for the one year in a row, bro. Let's go. All right, let's go back on the ship, get some gas, and see what the heck's going on here. Okay, refuel. Alerts are off uh, because I don't want it to mess with the uh, um, the immersion right now. Like they're on, but they're just muted. Oh, this way. Nice. Okay, we were here before, but there's all this fucking... All these spikes here. So we had to, to, to move around, like, super... Super, like, safe. Might have to just try. I like almost had it, I think. Dang. Oh well. I feel like that, I feel like there's probably an actual way to do that, but you know, we tried. Oh yeah, flamethrower would be kind of nice actually. Flamethrower would be kind of clean for that. Yo, John Goodman, thank you, dude. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, we. Uh, that's the plan, man. That's the plan. I kind of want to go grab that.
Yo, Liddy B, thanks for the 37 months. Appreciate that. Something that always flies away. Hmm. I wonder if there's a way to like get that immediately. I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna go outside without my suit on and die immediately on purpose. Oh, that's really fucked up, sorry. And try to get to that thing, like, immediately when it breaks off. <laughs> sorry for, like, the terrible death sounds there. Okay. Okay, so it's going... Okay. It's going that way. Oh, it's not even going that fast. It's low-key going kind of slow. Go! Joe, thanks for the raid. What up, guys? Welcome on in. Thank you for the raid. Hello, hello. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Nah, man, we're good. We're good. What is up, guys? Welcome. We're playing uh, Outer Wilds right now. This game is super fucking cool. Hope Joe had a good stream. Thank you for the raid, bro. I don't know how to get to that. So now we know we know a little bit about the uh Oh shit. Oh my god, why am I going so fucking fast all of a sudden? Hollow's lantern, let's go here. Yeah, the music in this game is so good. Well, thanks for the raid, man. Appreciate that. Welcome on in guys. Yeah, the music reminds me of skins at times, too. Let's 
Ding, do you know if Lopes played this game before? I feel like it has Lopes all over it. Him and Sandy both recently played it. Okay. Oh, let me go down. Let me go in there. Oh, this is new. This is good. Location is now inhospitable. Evacuation recommended. Increased solar uh, detected. Increased volcanic activity detected. Cool. Great. That's not what I want to do. Friends of the Timberhearth Mines, the last type of ore you sent us survives the longest in direct heat. Can you send us more of the same for additional testing? We're attempting to improve its durability and our forge has already been burned through everything you sent. You'll deliver more uh, ore to Hollow's Lantern immediately. You must be fired up about crafting the Ash Twins proje Project's protective shell. Yes, the idea of an encasement that's a supernova proof, however briefly, has kindled my curiosity. My gratitude, I imagine we'll also have an up update estimate soon on how much ore is needed to seal off the Ash Twin Project. Will be more than we initially thought, it will be significantly more. The smallest cracker opening in the protective shell will destroy everything. Okay. Ship log updated. Good. No. Yo, Aubrey, all good. Thank you very much. And Lauren Jade, you'll leave it 10, and Lauren Jade, welcome on in as well, dude. Sydney, what's going on tomorrow? Can't even get out of here. Oh, here we go. Oh, my, for my my stream, you mean? Oh yeah, tomorrow's gonna be fun as fuck. Am I out of here? Okay, there we are. Tomorrow's gonna be a blast. Yo, Aubrey, sounds good. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. Ow. Oof. Yo, Liddy B with the five. Thank you, Liddy B. Appreciate that, man. Call the shuttle home. Okay. Tomorrow we got a one v ones. Well, it's a it's a three person one v one v one in Infinite Craft. Me, Crispy, and Greg during the day. And then we have uh, Lethal Company afterwards. I am here after watching it wander the skies for so long. I'm about to stand for the first time on the quantum moon. As expected, my 
Sh yeah, we're doing a day stream. Yeah, my shuttle has landed on the moon's south pole. I will make the remainder of my journey on foot. We don't know why the quantum moon always welcomes its visitors at the south pole. Just that this is true. As a child, I considered such unknown sinister. Now, though, I understand that, that they bear no ill will. The universe is, and we are. I am ready. So, to get on the quantum moon, we have to go on the south pole. Is it snowing eggs? I hope not. <laughs> it is snowing though. Okay, wait, there's the quantum moon right there. So now, how do we fucking do this? Shit, that's gonna kill me. That pushes us forward. And that keeps us still. Huh. Yeah, it's, it's like impossible to know, like, you were here. Let's go find this uh, thing. That goes this way. Let's go the other way. Here we go. scary for a second. <clears throat> Bro, that whole thing just fell. The shit. Black hole right below me. Oh, what is that over there? Doesn't matter. Fuck. Cool. There's like a whole forest over there that looked interesting. Oh, wait, are these like pieces of the... Bro, these are pieces of the place that like fell. through the fucking black hole. <laughs> that is fucking crazy, actually. Yeah, that's weird. Huh. Game is this game is wild and outer. Oh, my God, all this 
shit. She out her on my wild till I. Hmm. Fuel level critical? Good. Fucking end me. End me. We'll probably, I think we'll probably play a little bit more and then I might honestly switch. Cause I feel like doing this in spurts of like five to six hours feels good. Um, Cause I don't want to overdo it. Plus I want to like make it like watchable on YouTube and not have it be like fucking 10 hours. Um, so maybe we'll play this a little longer and then maybe either go for like a dub a day or some uh, infinite craft practice. Or both, possibly. This has been fun, though, man. This game's cool. Oh! Yo, Swamp Queen, thanks for the 34 months. Appreciate it. You're down for whatever? Time really flew by. Dude, it, time flies by when you're having fun, man. I'm sitting, I'm sat. Page, so the frequencies are different things uh, that measure like certain waves. So there's like sound waves, there's like quantum waves. Uh, and so for us, we could hear like, I guess other people who are similar to us playing instruments because they're all different planets, which is cool. So that's what that means. Let's go to Brittle Hollow real quick. <clears throat> yeah, it's very interesting. Swamp Queen, thanks for the resub. Liddy, thanks for the five gifted. Vince, I've been playing it for, I think, like 10 hours, maybe. I could try. I honestly don't even know. Like, I feel like a lot of the stuff that we're learning is I have about ten hours total, but like not like ten hours the whole the whole day. If that makes sense. No, I haven't completed yet. No, not even close. Oh, we're we're about to hit the fucking black hole. I think. go what's up guava how are you what's up jam welcome back no 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 yeah matt it's very fun man I'm loving it. You want to chew on those rocks? They are kind of cool looking and potentially tasty, maybe. Bro, where the fuck do I go, man? Okay, we've already been here. Yo, Max, congrats. Hell yeah. Always exciting stuff. My God. Point Crow and Joe raid. Back to back. Huh? Dear God. What up, guys? What up, Point Crow raiders? Mayor, we can go. If you want to go real fast, we can do like a two or three minute. And then we got to go. See ya.
just just so people can get their raid messages in, but we gotta We gotta lock in. Slash followers off. Oh no, it, it, you, you put it back on follower mode. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Welcome on in, Point Crowers. Crow Nation. Hello, guys. Welcome, welcome. Sorry, we have followers on because we don't want spoilers for the game. What up, Mac and Cheese? How you doing? Hello, guys. Welcome. What up, Eric? How you doing? Mayor, you're cool. No worries. I think it's in followers mode, maybe. But yeah, we, uh... We're kind of flopping around right now in space. I've been better. What happens? Why are we sad? What, what's going on? Eric failed the shit out of his challenge. Ah, oh, dang. Dude's always challenging himself, man. Dude's always challenging himself. Okay. I'm just gonna float around until I die. You were doing Mario Kart, but heart rate controls your speed. I don't know how you do that. Okay, we're just gonna die on purpose. We've learned a lot today, though. We've learned a lot today. The lore is luring, which has been really fun, so. That's been good. We're probably gonna go a little longer, and then we, I think we're gonna switch to either Fort or more Infinite Craft. Uh, Cause I don't want to play this. I don't want to go too hard on this. Like, I, I, I've been enjoying like the five to six hour slaps. <laughs> Yo, Mare, for real. We are so back. What up, Meeps? Can I give you a summary? Yeah. So we found out <laughs> um, that. The, the quantum moon is only visible when you're looking at it, and you can only land on it from the South Pole, I believe. Um, we've learned about the anglerfish more. We've learned uh, about a few other guys. We've met a few different guys on different planets. Uh, we, we, we uh, fucking, what else? We, we've just been doing, oh, I'm about to die right here. That's fine. <laughs> Am I stuck? I don't think you're supposed to be here. I'm definitely in an area where you're not supposed to be. Yo, what Lost My Universe has said. If you go to the spoiler channel, all the all the stuff that we found out today will be in there. Oh, god damn it, bro. Reset loop and quit to the main men menu. Yes. Oops. Resume expedition. Real, yeah. It's been fun, though. It's been really fun. You fucking hate that sound, yeah. <laughs> There's the quoom right there. How, how do we know what, what the south side is? That's the problem. South side. I don't, I, I don't know. It just said 
South Pole. Dang it! Hmm. What is this place? There it is again. Yo, Jay Gold, thanks for the tier one. Welcome on in. Let's try and see. Quantum moon. There's definitely something going on here. The belly button's interesting. different. Raleigh, it's cool. South side, like, see, and now I lost it, right? Because I, I, I took my eyes off of it. Yup. So funny. All right, fuck it. We'll land on this thing instead. Cool. Yo, golden, hell yeah. Welcome on in to uh, the Twitch fam. We appreciate the YouTube frogs over here. Hmm. Here we go. Yo, Liddy be gifting us up to Arsupius. Soul Stars. Welcome, welcome as well. Is it 29? Shuttle is currently rusting. Resting at the Quantum Moon. Okay, wait. So this shuttle is... When we bring it back, it's now it's not on the Quantum Moon. And then... And then when I, when I put, do the Gravity Canyon, it goes back on. Quantum Moon, I'm assuming. Or it just goes directly up, okay. 
we probably have to wait for like a specific time to just launch up. When the quantum moon is like above us. So, and just launch directly into it. That's crazy though. Oh shit! Who's this dude? Ryback! Oh, you launched. That's great. Great job. Uh, great job, you. Well, I guess that means I'm back out for a while, huh? Well, this is brittle hollow, but you already knew that. A lot of history. It's great. What's going on here? I'm here to see the Hanging City. It's always been my dream to see it with my own four eyes, ever since I was a hatchling. An alien race lived in the solar system before our species even existed. How could I not want to see their, what their civilization was like? Only you've probably heard the others say it, right? I'm afraid of space. Seriously, I'm more surprised than anyone, anybody that I'm out here. Do you want to know how I got this far? I fell. Tripped over a gravity crystal. It's dumb luck. I landed somewhere. My little scout says it's halfway stable. Instead of being sucked into what's below. I'm engaging the, the, the stability of the ground around me using my little scout. And this seems to be the place with the best surface integrity. So I'm just going to stay here until I'm ready to move on. But that's enough about me and my problems. You didn't come all this way to listen to me blather, did you, huh? I learned something. Oh, cool. What is it? I found the Nomai escape on a brittle hollow. Oh, so that, that means the Nomai probably came here out uh, from somewhere outside the solar system, and they must have been in trouble when they launched their escape pod. But what kind of trouble? And where did the escape pod launch from? So curious. It's an amazing server. I hope we can find out more about it and why the Nomai arrived here. I saw the old settlement. Isn't it amazing? Hard to believe the settlement is still standing, but there it is. It really makes you appreciate living somewhere like Timber Hearth, you know? Somewhere that isn't being constantly bombarded with meteors and rocks and stuff. <clears throat> I saw the Sunless City on Ember Twin. You mean there's another Nomad City, a Nomai City inside of Ember Twin? That's incredible. A whole city and I had no idea it existed. This is great. How do they keep the sand out? If it were me, I'd be nervous about getting buried in the caves by that awful river of sand. Gosh, the Nomai were an ingenious building. An entire settlement underground. The Sunless City. Wow. That means there were two groups of Nomai. One that lived on Ember Twin and one that lived here on Brittle Hollow. But they must have traveled around the solar system since Nomai writing can be found on other planets too. Oh, that's cool. Hmm. He wants me to uh, go to the Hanging City. Southern Observatory. Good luck with exploring. Um, if, you need, if you learn anything about the Nomai, I'd love to hear it. If it's not too much trouble. <laughs> cool. Hell yeah. Cool. So now we have some more info. start playing house flipper and you're obsessed house flipper's great gravity cannons that way now here's this weird thing okay mr benjamin's kind of a vibe right the hanging city here we go been here yet <clears throat> excuse me low key ship log updated school district <clears throat> meltwater district high shrine district and the black hole forge district what this is a whole fucking area whoa what the fuck Black hole forge controls. Eight 
Andrew, you probably said something that might have been considered a spoiler, possibly. There's a uh, there's certain words that are like just blacklisted right now. I'm sure even if it wasn't one, that's probably what it was. Like so you probably said a name that might have been like just on the blacklist. Yeah, you're good though. Okay. Ashwin project requires a powerful, highly advanced warp core. How should we obtain it? Huh? Is this a puzzle? Chat, we might have a puzzle situation here. I might need all three. Yep, okay. To be plugged in. What could craft? What could craft a uh, advanced warp core inspired by the vessel's warp core? Vince, I don't know yet. I there's I, I like everything. Um, I'm still trying to think. I guess like what my favorite is because they're all so cool and different. Abandoning the vessel's warp core and its casing means losing valuable knowledge. This is true. However, it's knowledge we have little hope of recovering. I, it would be best to relearn. I think. The greatest challenge here, I think, is we don't have the, the design for such a powerful core or any of the original crafters of the vessel's core. No, but Poke was a apprentice to an Anona, who created the original design. Our Black Hole Forge is adept at crafting simpler cores. Ash and Ember Twins, yeah, those are cool. I like this place a lot, too. It's fucking weird. I believe that could be of use here. The vessel's warp core was created before my time, but Anona explained many of his designs to me. This is the safest path for our clan. Is the safest path the best one? Our goal is to worth the risk. Is it though? We've tried for so long to find something that an eye and others now believe might be impossible to find. If the search for the eye is a futile one, we should choose the option with the least potential for harm. Okay. Bro, the city's massive down there. To get a new scroll for the one on the right, I think. What's up, Frankie? How are you? There it is. Good for us. We can retrieve uh, the warp score from the vessel. This will require a return of Dark Bramble. My father said uh, many good know my parish there. My mentor, Coloius, and his old mentor once discovered and studied an anglerfish fossil. Yup. Using that knowledge, we could avoid the anglerfish entirely. When Malora and I learned that from the fossil would theoretically help us evade the anglerfish, but our hypothesis was never tested on a live specimen. Oh, wait. We gotta, this, this is what we needed. The anglerfish fossil we used to play in fossil uh, fish cave when we were children. Even if it no longer functions, the old core could be a valuable blueprint provided we're able to transport it back here. Perhaps we could still repair it. My grandmother told me there was little time to assess the nature. Okay, so we have to do something with... Ship log updated, W. We need to figure out how to get past the anglerfish with this new information. I feel strange trying to recreate a known as Warp Core without him. At times, it feels feels strange to no longer be his very young apprentice and for the Black Hole Forge to be in my care and not his. This will always feel strange even though my time with him was short. I miss my old mentor and deeply. I have the chance to try... To, to have the chance to try is thrilling, but I don't want to disappoint everyone. I think I could do this, probably. But what if excitement has clouded my assessment of my abilities? Was I wrong in volunteering to build it? I was born in this star system and never saw a known as Warp Core. 
with my own three eyes. They have three eyes. Interesting. I want to know what he taught me. So the Nomai have three eyes. That's fucking interesting. I have Clarion Root in the Forge, and I have my clan, and I'm not alone. Huh. Okay. Becca, let's go. <laughs> That's funny as hell. Yeah, because the statues have three eyes as well. Good call. Okay, we're, we're inside a waterfall right now, I think. Burb, it's been going good, man. It's been going real good. Oh, wait. So this is right out here. Ooh. So now we know about this little area. That's cool. That's exciting. Shit. So we already read all this. Okay. Whoa. It's because the walls let you do this here. School. Okay. How terrified you are of space? Yeah. Space is pretty fucking cool and weird and scary. Ooh, there's ghost matter over there. That's bad. Ghost matter is not good. Oh, it's all over the place here. Bro, this place is filled with ghost matter. Hmm. Why are Gremlin and Bunny? You guys are the same person. Congratulations. Why is it bad? I don't know, but it kills you. Okay, this is a tree. That's cool. All right, Jam, take care. Thanks for the hangs. Shit. Joel, both are, both are kind of sco uh, goofy. Because, like, we don't really know much. About either. Okay, this is a school. A bunch of dead kids around here, bro. Exclamation of festivals. All the know my clans from all over uh, the universe meet in one place to share what they've learned in science and art. It's called the festival. At some festivals, one clan's big discovery can mean all the Nomai get to advance, too, like a known as Warp Core, which means... Which makes so everyone can warp along distances and explore more. Each clan is a festival envoy to show their mo most interesting work. Our envoy was Thatch. A single festival could last a long, long time. We can't go because we're stuck here, but Felix says we used to go, too. Bro, you know what's interesting? The difference between the, uh, the weird, like... Uh, like electric kind of messy writing right here versus like the more simple stylized. Like I wonder what that means. That means something, I'm, I'm assuming. Don't forget, festivals happen every 10 years. Okay. Like that definitely means something. Yo, little poopies with the six, uh, with the 21 months. Am I a Star Wars guy? Not really. Like yes and no, I would say. Like I like it, but I'm not like wild about it. Formation of this universe. No one knows how this universe was made. But one thing we do know is everything used to be very hot and very dense, lightly, tightly packed together. 
as this universe uh, expanded, it also cooled down. Once it had cooled down enough for particles, we were able to group together to form things like galaxies, stars, and planets. Since then, space has continued to expand at a faster and faster rate, which is hard to think about for too long without your brain hurting. This universe will keep getting colder and larger until one day the stars and the life they support will all die. That's scary to think about, though Konoi tells me it won't happen in our lifetime, but it'll happen in someone else's someday. That's where we're at. The universe is uh, exploding every day for us. The sun, we, we, we're on a constant loop because the sun keeps fucking exploding. Maybe I'm the one who's meant to save it all. Or maybe there's, or maybe it, we're too late and we're fucked. We'll find out together, I guess, guys. <clears throat> Might as well try. Worst case, we're fucked. Yeah, pretty much. Yo, Joel gifting us up to Burb. Burb, welcome on in, dude. Enjoy those emotes. Good to see you. Hmm, is it the last part of the city, maybe? Oh, fuck. <laughs> Fuel level critical, you know? Go. This is more. Yo, what up? Hey, you fighting? How you doing? Ghost matter nearby. That's fine. Okay. Why we should build a new vessel. Each know my clan explores the universe in its own vessel. The vessel is the heart of every clan. Oh, that's cool. So the Nomai are that's their job is to explore the universe. And they each clan has their own fucking ship or vessel. It's unusual for Nomai to remain in one place for so long. Nomai are wanderers and have no permanent home. Nomai nomad. Oh. So they're always moving around. If we built a new vessel, we could return to our adventurous way of life. Imagine all the new places we can go. Our clan wouldn't be stuck here in this star system. We can even meet with other Nomai and learn from them, like Kaloya says we used to do. Ooh. <coughs> it probably wouldn't be hard to get parts if we stopped building other new things. And if we broke down other structures like the Towers of Ashtwin for parts. We might have to build a smaller vessel for now, even though vessels are normally large. But we can make it bigger later once we reach planets with more resources. It would also help if we stop building so many things to search for the eye of the universe. I asked Yaro, and he says we use lots of resources in the Ashtwin project. We can even have a warp core for jumping long distances like vessels have. Polk tells me she plans to make a very advanced warp core for to different projects. I'm sure she could connect it to the vessel for travel because Polk is smart. Sheesh. Bro, we just learned a lot. That's a lot of lore. That's a huge lore dump. Because now we know the Nomai are always trying to move around. Every clan has their own vessel, which is cool. Big old stinky lore dump. Yeah, for real. Have we been here yet? We have. Okay, let's, let's go back. Let's go up more. Ooh, up here gets a little goofy. Yeah, that, I was kind of, I kind of had that thought, like maybe we're like uh, a new version of Nomai, since we're, we're, we're kind of doing that by exploring a lot. But the Nomai that we know have three eyes and we have four, so that's interesting. 
Oh. Okay. Tash, that's funny. Also, Sadox. Black Hole Forge Controls. Ooh. Is that going? It's the black hole. Oh, what? No, but we're maybe able to go in there now? What the fuck? I have no fuel though, I'm useless. Ow! I have no fuel. My legs! Fuck, I want to check that out, but... Hmm. Verb. So, it's... I'm not gonna say much, but all I'm gonna say is the response from people was super hype. All right, well, we're dead. We are so dead. That was a really good run though. We just learned so much shit. Keanu, there you go. Solid loop, lot of stuff. Learned a lot. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna go on the ship real quick and see what the vibe is, based on what we learned. Yo, Feynman, thanks. Volcanic testing site, Ryback's camp, the hanging city. Okay. Let's go to map mode real quick. Brittle hollow, timber hearth, no. Giant's deep, dark bramble. One of the three Nomai escape pods never made out of dark bramble. The Nomai warped to the solar system in a spaceship called the Vessel. The vessel crashed somewhere in dark bramble. Inside the sea, when I launched my scout into the seed. Okay, it's much bigger, okay. so. So what the fuck, man? All right. Wait. Rumor mode. Where uh, are? Where's the shit at about? Black hole forge. Okay. It's giving Anaheim sharks for sure. Yeah, no, we were uh, we were very stoked about people's responses to that. Some the city, anglerfish fossil. Here we go. These play a game here. One player was the anglerfish and wore a blindfold. The rest of the children, the little fish, lined up against one wall. When the anglerfish said go, the little fish had to sneak across the other side. The blindfold rule was added because real anglerfish are blind. The adult nomai were delighted to see the children incorporate their research into the. So if the anglerfish are blind, then I wonder if I should try just going in there with no headlights on no ship and just kind of move around. Or something. <clears throat> we'll do a quick, we'll do a quick test here and see if that, what the vibe is. Giant steep. Is this a quantum moon? I don't fucking know. And then I think after this run guys, we're probably gonna either switch to fort or infinite craft. I don't know what the vibe is yet. Maybe dub a day into infinite craft. Oh shit. Bro. Hmm. 
We're gonna restart. Okay, we run it back, we run it back. Yo, Kyle, uh, Lessie, thank you guys for the resubs as well. Wake up. Okay. Here we go. Dark Bramble. Yeah, maybe we'll go for a quick dub a day, then we'll uh, go to Infinite Craft. Because we got to practice for tomorrow. We're playing against Greg and Crispy. Yeah, Dolan. It's the one with the light bulb. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hollow's Lantern, Brittle Hollow. Sun. Ash Twin. Been on your fork grind lately? Let's go. There's Dark Bramble. Yeah, Infinite Craft has been fun as hell. Yeah, we're gonna do um, Infinite Craft Bingo tomorrow. 2 p.m. Eastern, I believe we're gonna be on. So it's gonna be an early stream. And then uh, into that, we're gonna be going into uh, Lethal with Ethan uh, and Pals, which I think will be fun. Hopefully with uh, Lethal, we don't have anyone uh, in our game. Okay, so Dark Bramble. We need to figure out fucking vibe here. Fuck. Okay. Greater diabetes. Okay. Congratulations, man. What are we looking for? I have no clue. This is where the uh, vessel is, I think. them annoyed. That does seem like an interesting play, though, like shooting 
the scout to like make them go that way. Yeah, no, I know they're blind. That's the point. Like shooting it into like shooting it away from me so they focus on it elsewhere. Similar to like Last of Us. Cause like since their since their hearing is heightened, the idea was you shoot it far away so they focus on that and then I could just kinda linger. But maybe that's not it. I don't know. We tried. Alright. We're gonna end it there because we've been been playing for over five hours and I wanna uh, pick this up soon. Just toss a brick, yeah. But yeah. That was fun, dude. GG's. GG's. Thank you guys for hanging and watching, by the way. I appreciate that.